What is going on everyone? My name is Tin Mike and today we're going to be playing Smashing 4. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching today's video of Smashing 4. Like always, I have to say, the support that you guys are giving me is just incredible. The, subs uh, the subscribers it keeps going up slowly but surely. Uh, your comments is just, it, it really makes my day. You guys watching my videos, it's just incredible the support you guys are giving me. I have no way to say thank you then obviously say the words thank you. Like, you guys... You guys are the greatest, like, you guys watching my videos, the support, you guys are indeed the greatest. Thank you so much for the continued support. I'm actually recording this video like 5 minutes, uh, just 5 minutes after I uploaded my, uh, my Wraith video. So literally, my video just uploaded on YouTube, I'm literally watching it right now on screen on the camera. And uh, yeah, I'm literally just recording this right now, just to push up in the ladder, um, uh, with my main deck of course. Um, I want to show you guys something real quick in the leaderboards. Uh, globally, globally, I am I'm super close to getting to the top 500. But here in the local leaderboards, I am where am I? I totally forgot. Where am I? I just want to show you guys. I'm number 58 in United States. 58, like that's incredibly high. And uh, in the global leaderboards, uh, leaderboards, I'm missing 30 about 35 trophies just just from being the top 500 leaderboards. So I'm gonna try to push for that. Obviously, I'm gonna make a long video for you guys, but uh, I am trying to push and hopefully stay above in the top 500. Fingers crossed. I literally just had this deck for the Majestic Challenge. Like that is that's that is hilarious. I literally just had this deck in the Majestic Challenge. So um, he's he is gonna get the Seder. So not he did he did a decent amount of damage to my zombie, but that's totally fine. I can enchant to Seder with the poison and hopefully I can enchant somebody else with the poison. No, but the Seder did receive an insane amount of damage. She is about to die. He is laughing about it, I guess. Seder can only survive for two turns unless he re-enchamps himself. But if not, I'll seriously take him out, and he is gonna deal an insane amount of damage to my Naga and Golem, maybe even killing them. Yep, they're dead. <laughs> well played on that, I have to give them well played. Yeah, that was just nasty. That was incredibly nasty. I did not, I did not expect that. So, we had a horrible start. <laughs> I can't believe I just used this deck, man. Oh! It's the sword, the Enchantress is almost dead, oh my gosh. So the Enchantress will die next turn. I might be able to make a comeback here. I might be able to make a comeback here. I just need to poison the Treant for sure. And the Wraith. And I might be able to pull something off with the Striker here. I just need my... Uh... Never mind. I cannot poison the uh, the Strike. Uh, I cannot poison anymore. I cannot poison. Super sad about that, man. So I might be able to double hit the Wraith. And then hit the the treant. Yeah, I was actually able to double hit the uh, the wraith, but at what cost? I couldn't poison them. If the zombie would have stayed alive, I would have found a way to poison them and then take control of it with my uh, with the striker. But that that's sad. I lost. That I lost, man. That he played that super well. If I can find a way to just hit them these people multiple times, I would be super super happy. But I uh, highly doubt that's gonna happen. I actually was able to find a way to hit the three, the tree, and three times for like eighteen hundred damage. So that was pretty good. He even he even gives me the well played, but it's already too late. I lost. Luckily, he this guy has more trophies than I do, so I'm only gonna lose like maybe twenty, fifteen, hopefully fifteen. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, I don't lose more than twenty trophies. Um, but yeah, thir okay, 20 trophies. So this guy was at 3,700. This guy is in the top 500 worldwide. So it was that was a tough matchup. That was a super tough matchup. Let's go ahead and find another one. I should have probably looked this guy's uh, stats and see where he is in the world. But he is in the top 500, that's for sure. Let's see, this guy said 3,400. So this guy has less trophies than I do and would not be good if I lose against him. So let's poison the Barbarian plus the Banshee. And I also hit the uh, I also hit the Banshee towards the Naga, so the Naga re uh, not the Naga, the Banshee received a whole lot of damage. Super good about that. And if he doesn't find a way to enchant the um, if he doesn't find a, a way to enchant the uh, the Seder, I'm gonna be super happy, super happy. 
Let's see if I can hit the Banshee towards the zombie, because I will also like to poison the goblin. Yes, I was actually, actually able to find a way to do that. The Banshee is about to die, and if I keep... If I keep them not enchanted with the speed boost, I'm gonna be super happy. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this guy did not find a way to poison, um... Not poison, um... Enchant his, uh... His satyr. So I do not want to poison him just yet. Okay, yeah. I do not want to poison the satyr just yet, because I do not want the satyr to have this, this uh, an attack buff. Like, look at that. That would be over... Over twice his uh, damage, so I do not want to give him a damage buff just yet. We just have to worry about the Barbarian and the Goblin. Um, let's actually hit the Barbarian, and the Naga should go up and hit the Striker. Yeah, the Striker is actually... Uh, not the Striker, the Goblin is actually dead. So let's go, the Strike... I keep mixing up the names, I do apologize. Um, the Goblin's dead, now we just gotta worry about the Barbarian. It is a zombie's turn. I do not want to poison just yet. Not just yet. Um, hmm. I guess we just hit the golem so I can hit the barbarian. And hopefully they are... Nope, they're not lined up so both of them hit, gets a tremor. But that's totally fine. Now we just gotta... Hmm. Okay, that wasn't too good on his part. So that's fine with me. We should be able to take out the barbarian right now. Bada bing there you go, yep. So now it's just the uh it's now just the Seder. So as long as we don't poison him, we should be A okay. Maybe poison him at the last possible moment. Oh gosh, I don't wanna do this. I do not wanna poison him. I I honestly don't wanna poison him. Mm, man, I do not wanna poison him. Hopefully this does not hit the satyr towards the zombie I hope I hope it doesn't it did oh my gosh I'm super mad about that it did okay so I need to take him out in one turn there's no way he's gonna be able to take out all my troops in one turn so I need to try to take him out all in one turn so he has 800 health I just need to hit him towards the naga actually this should be game yep that's it GG okay Whew, okay so did not want to poison him, but I guess I was good in a way so I can use my Naga to do twice the damage as she normally does. And look at that, we got the 20 trophies back, super happy about that. We got the reward right here, and we are back at it at 36, uh, 18. So we are probably number 58, 59 in the United States again. And we are back, sorry about the unexpected uh, edit, I just, I touched the orb to, um, to open an, an ad. Uh, to open the orb slot by watching an ad and I did it without even telling you guys what was I doing So I do apologize for that unexpected edit But I was I was saying that we are back at 3618 like we literally have the same amount of trophies that we started with we lost 20 we won 20 so No changes in the trophy count We are still like maybe 58 in the United States Hopefully we can go high in the in the global leaderboard so we can be in the top 500 That's my goal for this uh, for this video. Hopefully we can get there I mean, it's going to be a long video, of course. I'm just hoping that we can get to the top 500. Um, I honestly... Okay. I'm, I'm definitely going to poison both the Assassin and the Mice Bandit. And hopefully, the zombie can get out of there. So I don't get severely punished. Uh, okay, so... It's not going to get punished too harshly. The Mice Bandit still does a lot of damage. He's actually gonna go for the assassin, okay. And that actually worked out very well in his favor. He played that super well. Wow, he just instantly took out my zombie. So this is not looking good, of course. Not looking good at all. Let's double hit the assassin. Not nope, wasn't able to get a third hit to, to actually kill him off, but uh, the assassin did take in a serious amount of damage. Now let's see what he's gonna do against my striker. Because he cannot use my he cannot use his assassin. Okay. So not too not too great on his part. Uh I could double hit the mice bandit and take him out. Let's see. Yes, yes, I was actually able to do that. Plus burning all these troops, giving them the tremor. Okay, now we just gotta worry about the assassin. We don't want the assassin alive. And then after the assassin, we he have we have to take out the um the warrior would be the plan right here. So, 
Ouchie, ouchie, not good. Let's actually make sure to hit the to hit the assassin. Uh, I would like to deal some damage to the warrior, but what? Well, well, the golem is a heavy troop, so we shouldn't worry about missing the assassin. We shouldn't. Yep, there you go. Okay, and we made sure to actually kill him off. the The tremor actually hit both the the archer and the the warrior. I'm actually a little bit surprised about that. I was not expecting to hit both of them, but I guess they're just really close to each other. Uh, okie doke. Now let's make sure to take out... Hmm, actually, I might be able to take out the archer right here. I'm probably making bad plays, but the archer is looking... Nah, now we'll, now we'll make sure to take out the warrior. I think the war taking out the warrior is the best, the best play right here. Yep, there you go. Plus we burned the archer a little bit, plus giving her the tremor. Yep, that should be... That should be game. That should be game right here. The archer alone can deal uh, a serious amount of damage, but uh, should not be able to beat me. Should not. So let's just hit the archer towards the golem. Yep, look at that. We were actually able to beat him. There you go. He had a uh, significantly, significantly less amount of trophies than I do, so I'm probably going to win like 15. 14. Oh, 18. I actually expected a little bit less than that, but hey, I'll take the 18 trophies. We are still not in the top 500 worldwide. I need I needed at least uh, 36.53 before before I started recording. I checked how many do I need. The, the 500th player in the world has or had uh, 36.53. So, uh, and you know that those players are, are still going up. So, this might actually put us over over the top if we if we win this one ladies and gentlemen if we can pull this off we'll actually be in the top 500 so let's try to poison the mice man and if i miss it should hit it should hit either the archer or the bomber okay so i poisoned the mice bandit not the greatest place because i only hit the mice bandit his archer is gonna try to double hit the naga and then the golem actually oof okay that was not good not good at all pretty bad um, so let's hit the archer towards the go uh, the goblin, towards the uh, the zombie, and my naga should hit the mice bandit. It should. Yes, we actually hit the mice bandit. So the mice bandit has taken taken severe amount of damage. Let's see how much health does the mice bandit have. The mice bandit will die next turn th thanks to the poison. So as long as we can continue poisoning these troops, he just probably killed my. He just killed no. So let's also poison the bomber. Hopefully we can poison him right here. Yes, we were actually able to do that. We also hit the uh, the archer with the striker. So the ar this archer received more damage thanks to the striker's ability. If we can poison the goblin, that would be great. Unfortunately, my naga will die right here. But I just want to poison that goblin. He's actually gonna deal damage to the striker and zombie. Not go for the art, uh, the naga. Interesting. Oh wait a second. Okay, so he, that was an interesting play. He actually went for the golem. That was interesting. Uh, let's see how much health does a bomber have. Uh, that would not be death yet. I think. I need to check the numbers again. But uh, we'll just hit the bomber. Okay, so we actually hit the uh, the goblin twice. That was actually that was actually death for the bomber. Okay, okay. Uh, we can actually come back from this one if we can find a way to deal an insane amount of damage with the striker. Because yeah. Oh wow, he actually played that well. He actually made my my striker go towards the bomb. That was well played. Um, let's try to double hit the goblin. Hopefully not give him some good plays for his uh, with his archers. I only hit him once. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. Super bad. Super bad. So okay, so the archer will die next turn, right? Yeah, the archer will die next turn no matter what. I just need to survive this this hit. If I can survive this hit, I just need to double hit the goblin. I just need to survive this hit. Nope, he got it. Oh man, okay. Uh, I tried, I really did try. I probably just lost 18 trophies there. 20 trophies? 21 trophies, okay. So we are actually lower than what we started. It's tough. We are facing We are facing the top 500 people, guys. Like, this is tough. 
But I really, really want to get the top 500 for you guys. So I'm pushing. I'm pushing. Okay, so I'm not seeing the Mice Bandit or the, uh, the Assassin right here. So I'm actually intrigued with this, with this deck that he has. So let's hit the Barbarian twice. We should also be able to hit the Pirate. There we go. Plus the, the, the Pirate hit the Naga. And the Tremor will also go for the Pirate, dealing an insane amount of damage. That was ab about 1,000 damage. Yeah, 1,100 damage right there towards the Pirate. So that was super good. Hopefully he only hits... The striker with the barbarian once. Nope, he hit it with twice somehow. Of course. What can you do? Uh, so we're just gonna hit the pirate towards the striker and then the naga, so it can receive multiple damage right there. Or just hitting the other uh, pirate twice with the striker. That was actually pretty good. I did not plan that. I was trying to go for the for the naga actually. So he is gonna go for the go uh, the golem plus killing off my striker. He is probably gonna kill my striker right here. Hopefully he misses. Nope. Nope, he did not. Well, my striker died, sadly, but uh, we should be able to poison some troops now. So let's poison the, the Barbarian and hopefully the Pirate. That's what I'm trying to go for. Nope, we poisoned the Treant at least. At least. The Pirate is one hit away from dying. Yep, one hit, one hit away from dying. So let's try to make sure that we can... Um, Kill the pirate off so he doesn't get the heal. At the same time, trying to poison the rest of the troops. Ooh, actually, I don't think we're going to be able to kill off the pirate here. Uh, we might. Actually, let's kill, let's kill a barbarian. Let's kill a barbarian and we should be able to poison the berserker. Yep, there you go. And the po the burn actually killed off the Berserker. Okay, that was big. Unfortunately, we activated his his ability. So he is definitely going to go for my Naga. I would go for the Naga. What? What, what are you going, go going for the Golem? I would go for the Naga, dude. I don't think that was the play, but uh, I'll take it, dude. I'll take it. Um, so let's try to double hit the Berserker. We have to kill the Berserker no matter what. We have to kill him off. Uh, is that death? No, he is still alive. But he will die next turn no matter what. So now we just gotta focus on the Treant. And it's Nanaga's turn, so... That's it. He cannot do anything right here. That's it. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way he's gonna win this one. A poisoned Treant against a Naga. That, there's no way. There's no way he's gonna win. Plus, plus the Golem is still alive, so we're gonna get that Tremor hit as well. Um, if we could double hit the, uh, the tree, and that would be incredible. Oh yeah, that's it. That's GG, man. GG. Plus, we got a hit on the Berserker, which we didn't need to. So, a win. So, we got two wins, two losses. We are literally going back and forth here. We just won 18 trophies, so... Okay, so we are above uh, 15 trophies, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with. Not too shabby. But we are struggling in the ladder. We want to get to the top 500. So let's see. Let's see where we stand when I finish this video. Let's. I want to see where we stand. Um. Okay, so he did a pretty good start right there. Pretty good start in my opinion. I could deal damage to his uh, to his Yeti or hit, or hit these two. I think hitting these two would be ideal, I guess. Hopefully we can hit... Okay, so not the greatest, not the greatest, but we did manage to deal a decent amount of damage to the Sorceress. As long as the Sorceress doesn't enchant our troops, we can do amazing stuff here. And unfortunately, he enchanted the Naga and the, uh, the Zombie. So we'll enchant his Naga and the Sorceress with Poison. We did a decent amount of damage to the Bomber as well. Okay, so now it's the Naga's turn. He is going to deal an insane amount of damage to my uh, zombie and the Naga. And the Naga will die. I think the uh, the zombie died as well. The zombie did not die. Okay. The zombie did not die. So let's hit the Bomber. And at this angle, we should be able to hit the Naga as well. There you go. Unfortunately, I could not do much there. But uh, the Bomber... The, not the Bomber. The Naga did receive a decent amount of damage there. Uh... He is killing me. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna be able to win this one, ladies and gentlemen. So let's hit the Yeti, and we should. And the Golem should be able to hit the Naga and the Bomber, and hopefully the Sorceress will touch my Zombie as well. 
Nope, I failed. I indeed failed. Um, yeah, my zombie is definitely gonna die right here. He's actually gonna go for the golem, actually. Oh, never mind. He played that well. He played that super well. Ah, uh, this is tough, man. Unfortunately, I cannot do much here. I might be able to make some, some, some kind of comeback, maybe. Because both of them are poisoned, the bomber is low health, I just need to worry about this yeti. I missed a double hit, but uh, I tried, I tried, we're not gonna win this one. If he double hits the striker, that's it, yep. Yeah, we tried, but again another loss, we are jumping back and forth on winning on wins and losses, like this is tough, dude. Facing this this guy this guy's not even the top 500 and this guy just owned me I'm not saying that people with less trophies than I do are bad. Like they're they're good They're close to the top 500. It's just Losing against them is bad because we're gonna lose more than 30 trophies. This is probably gonna be like 37 trophies I'm guessing 37 40 trophies. That's it. Oh my gosh I'm hurt. I'm hurt Oop, I did not even start opening this orb, so I'll open this orb. Uh, let's jump into another one. <sighs> Come on, we got we gotta get to top 500. We got to get to top 500. Fingers crossed that we can do it for you guys. Uh, my spandit, we gotta worry about him, of course. So who goes first? So my spandit goes first, he has more trophies than I do, so I'll probably win like 33, 34 trophies if I win. The Thunder Idol did receive a nerf, so I'm happy with that. He just triple hit the zombie. Not liking what I just... I'm not liking what just happened. Not liking at all. Uh, I honestly cannot do much here. I'm actually gonna hit the golem. So that the naga can bounce back and hit the zombie. And we were actually able to hit the mice bandit while poisoned. So that the mice bandit received multiple damage right there. Or a lot of damage, not multiple. So, okay, so the Naga, the Naga is not looking too good right here. Not looking too good. Is the Mice Bandit gonna die? If it gets a burn, a hit, uh, he will die. So let's make sure to get a burn hit. It should burn. Or just a double hit here. Double hit here. There you go. It did not poison the, the Thunder Idol, sadly. It did not poison the Thunder Idol. He, my, the warrior is gonna one shot the, uh, the Naga. Yep, one shot the Naga. So if we can make some moves with the striker here, do not double hit, please. Okay. Okay, so not looking too good, but we might be able to make a comeback here if I can. Uh, I guess I will hit the Yeti, and hopefully the warrior will go towards the zombie. It did not, but the the Yeti did receive a lot of damage, almost death. That was almost lethal damage to the Yeti. Oh no, please don't kill off my zombie. I need to poison you guys. Do not kill off my zombie, please. Do not po- do not, do not. Okay, that was super close. Super close. Unfortunately, I can only poison one of you guys. I cannot poison multiple people here. Unless I go for the risky move. And do this. And hopefully poison mo uh, both the warrior and the thunder idol, which I'm going for. Yes, I was actually able to poison both of you guys, so we might be able to make a comeback here. He knows that he has to worry about the striker. He knows it. So, well played. Well played. My thunder idol died. Not the thunder idol. My zombie died. Um, uh, how much health does the striker have? Yeah, the striker is in lethal damage right now. Thanks to the warrior, so... I think this is another loss, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, uh, man, this is another loss. So, let's, I guess let's just hit these guys. Oh, okay, let's just release. I just released. I released. I'm actually blocking. Kind of blocking. The, the, um, the striker. He is going to go for the striker, though. Okay, he's actually going to go with the, the Thunder Idol. I don't think that was a play, dude. I don't think that was a play. You might have... You might have messed up your place right here, dude. We gotta hit both of them. We have to hit both of them so that they, they receive more damage thanks to the poison. And the tremor is gonna go... Oh! If it would have went for the warrior, that would have been game. 
that would have been game if it would have went for the warrior. We can the the golem can still tank. The golem can still tank two hits. A third hit will kill him. Okay. Okay, let's actually do this. Actually, one hit, one hit, yeah, one hit should, yeah, one hit is enough. Yeah, we won this one. I am surprised that this guy decided to use the Thunder Idol to try to take out the, uh, the Striker. He should have went with the Warrior, bounce off the wall and hit the Striker. That cost him the game. So, plus 30, uh, 35 trophies there, so, we are seriously, literally jumping back and forth. <laughs> jumping back and forth in wins and losses. I hope you guys don't mind this. It's tough to be up here, but uh, we got the orb slots filled, so let's open an ad, so I'll be right back after the ad, uh, the ad finishes. And we are back 3628, like, I'm only above 10 trophies since I started this video. It, it's, it's a struggle, dude. It's a struggle. It is a struggle to win, at least consecutively up here. <sighs> my bandits, dude. You know how I feel about the my bandits. Hey! My zombie actually goes first, so we can we can start we can start a good poison uh poison a couple of people here, maybe even three troops if I do this right. So let's poison the mice bandit, the archer, and maybe even the barbarian. We actually did poison the barbarian and look at the tremor in the line to hit all of those uh three of those troops that are poisoned, so awesome start. If we can poison the warrior uh now, this would be it would be a good game right here. As long as he can find a way to just make insane plays to kill me off. Okay, that was a little bit of an ouchie right there. A little bit of an ouchie. Um, let's actually hit the archer towards the striker. And hopefully the striker hits some ice bandit. It did. And the burn damage got the archer. The archer's almost dead. Okay, the archer is almost dead. Uh, he, he can survive one more turn if I don't hit the archer. So he might actually kill off the, the naga here still. He did. He probably did. The Naga is still alive. Hold on. The Naga is still alive. And the, then the Striker is still alive too. But I would like to poison. I would like to poison his warrior. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be it. Oh, I'm, I'm a little scared. Hopefully this will be it. Yes, I was actually able to do it. Plus, the Tremor went towards the Mice Bandit. How much health does the Mice Bandit have? So both the Mice Bandit and the Archer will die next turn no matter what because of the poison. So I have to focus on the Warrior and the Barbarian now. Um, let's see what he's going to do. Because he can take out the, the, the Striker and the Naga right now. As long as he doesn't mess this up. Okay, so he did... Oh gosh, that's a lot of damage to the Golem. We need the Golem alive. Okay. Um, who goes next? The zombie. Okay, I wanted. I honestly wanted the golem to go next, but uh, we can try to make this work. So let's just. I guess just. Let's just hit. Let's just hit both the barbarian and the. Uh, both of the barbarian and the warrior just to deal some damage because we need both of them to take some additional damage. Okay, so the barbarian did receive about seven hundred damage, which is good. Which is good. Uh, okay, so he's gonna deal damage to both of these, of course. Now we just gotta focus on the warrior. Hopefully the golem does not die, so we can still deal damage with the tremor. Do not! Oh my gosh, he did. He did. Okay, how much health does the zombie have? The zombie still has, is still healthy. The barbarian has 1400. The warrior has 1500. Mm. This is not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Not looking good. As long as I don't put them together or align them in a way that he can just deal multiple damage to me. Uh, he can double hit me, of course. Or he's gonna hit it towards the Barbarian, I guess. Hopefully he misses. Nope, he got it off. Uh, man. man, man, man. So 1200 health. So I'm getting close to lethal damage from the, from the Warrior. So we have to take her out. I don't know if that's... That is not enough damage. 138, yep. He knows it. GG. Oh man, we are trying, man. We are seriously trying, but we're failing, dude. I want to get to the top 500 for you guys. This is tough. This is really tough, guys. I am I am trying. I'm trying to think, uh, cross my fingers. 
praying, wishing, whatever it is. I'm just trying. We are 3600 flat. Uh, let's jump into another one. Okay, so we're about 30 minutes into the video. We got we got a couple of more to go too. Hopefully, hopefully we can make it. Okay, okay. So it's interesting to see the robot instead of the uh, the giant. But this guy is in the top 500. Uh, so we are facing a little a uh, little getting 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 there with the pros. Getting there with the pros. Let's see if we can poison the sentinel and the sorceress. No, we only poisoned the sentinel, sadly. I wanted to hit poison that sorceress so bad. But we still have another chance because the zombie does go next. Ooh, do not enchant anyone. He did not enchant anyone, okay. So, should I go for the striker or the naga? I think it's best to go for the striker because the tremor should go towards the sorceress. I might be able to double hit him twice. It did. Is that, a, is that lethal? It is! Okay, so we took out the sorceress just before he was able to enchant my troops. So now my troops are not going to get bold, uh, receive so much damage. So now we just got to take out his sentinel. His sentinel is being, is being a menace, to be honest with you. So, okay. At least the sentinel is, lev is level 19. Okay, so he has some bombs blocking him. So he's just going to probably double hit the golem. Only hit the golem once, actually, so that was not the play. Not the play. So let's try to double hit the sentinel. We should be able to. Yep, and uh, the tremor should go down. And there you go, we took, out the, we took out the sentinel. Okay, so now we just gotta worry about the robot, I guess, because of his bombs. And he does uh, more dam clearly more damage than the golem. Ooh, actually, this this might be the the he might he might turn the tides here. He actually might turn the tides. I cannot poison him, sadly. So we'll just hit the golem, and hopefully the naga will go up and hit the the. Yeah, it, yeah, it, did. it went up and hit the robot. Okay, so the robot is blocked again thanks to the bombs plus the striker. He is gonna hit the striker plus the naga, right? Do not hit the. Ooh, do not. Oh no! Oh my gosh. He he knew he knew exactly what he was doing. He definitely knew what he was doing. <sighs> we, we might have a chance still. This guy knew exactly what he was doing. So we double hit the robot, but hmm, I was trying to hit the golem as well, but uh the tremor did hit the the tremor did hit the, the, the golem, of course. He is actually going to push those bombs away. The Tremor did hit all three of them, but this guy actually missed. The What he was trying to do, he missed. So we're going to try to hit the robot twice. Hopefully, we can make something happen. Nope, I, I was only able to hit the robot once. So, not good. Not good. Now he is definitely going to kill my golem. And the Naga? Okay, no, not the Naga. Uh, the robot can tank two hits. The golem can tank about three. So I'm just gonna try to double hit the golem. Maybe not. I don't think it's gonna happen. And hopefully we can hit the robot twice. I am hoping. That's for sure. I am definitely hoping. We were actually able to hit the robot twice, but the golem only once. So, ladies and gentlemen, we might have a shot here. Never mind, we failed. <laughs> oh, man. Man. Man, that was a good game. That was a good game. That was indeed a good game. This guy played super well. He is in the top 500, so I'll give him props. That was super well. Super good. Ooh, okay, I do not like to face his deck. I do not like to face his deck. And the ro Okay, the Rocketeer goes first, which is good, because he does not have the... Uh, the bonus damage or the bonus rockets. What is he gonna do though? Okay, that was actually an interesting play on his part. He enchanted the rocketeer. So we'll just double hit the shaman so that we don't get a damage nerf. Or try to kill him off quickly so he doesn't get a damage with our troops that's not getting damage nerf. And look at that. The shaman received so much damage and the blacksmith as well. He has to heal up. The shaman and enchant my uh 
Okay, so this guy actually knows what he's doing. Um, so let's try to double hit the shaman if we can. Hit the blacksmith. The blacksmith should die, maybe? Nope. Actually, the blacksmith did die. So the blacksmith died. So the paladin does not have the, um... Does not have the, uh, the, the buff. And we can re-enchant him, of course. Let's actually enchant the shaman. And hopefully we can hit him towards the naga. I honestly, I really do hope I do not miss his shot. And hit him towards the naga. Yes. Yes. And the shaman died. Shaman died. So the, the zombie and the golem does not have the, uh, the defense nerf. The attack nerf. I do apologize. I don't know why I said defense nerf. Okay, so the rockets did go for the naga. Well played. That was well played on his part. Ah, uh, ha, huh, ha! Huh, this is actually quite tough. I'm gonna have to hit the uh, striker towards the paladin, and the tremor will hit both of them. Okay, so not bad. We have, we have to take out his paladin because his paladin is the one that's giving the rocketeer the attack buff. So we have to take out his rocketeer. I mean, his paladin first. I am mixing up the names. I do apologize. Um, so let's do... Hmm. I guess we'll just hit him straight, straight up. We'll hit him twice. We did indeed hit him twice, plus we burned him. So that was okay. That was okay. Um, he wants to kill my uh, striker and the naga, for sure. I have to take out his paladin. I have to. He is gonna kill the Naga, sadly. Yeah, he did indeed kill the Naga. Now we just gotta... I can't even poison the... Um, I can poison the Rocketeer, sure. But I would like to take out his... Um, his paladin first. We'll just straight up hit the paladin and hopefully... We can... No, we did not. Yeah, I did not know what to do there. I did not know what to do. I should have probably just went for the for the um, poison. I did not play that well. And he just double hit the Rocketeer. So, we lost. We did indeed lost. Uh, yeah, we, we lost. I'm getting super sad, man. I'm getting super sad because I want to get to the top 500, but it does not seem like we... We're not doing well here either. I tried to double hit the... Uh, the paladin and we failed. I should have just went for the for the zombie. So I guess we'll uh we're we're not gonna win this one. So how much how much damage is the um the rockets doing? 485. 485, okay. And the zombie is tanky. The zombie is tanky, so we and we can poison him now. Or not poison. I should go for the poison, man. I should go for the poison. And hopefully the zombie can attack the paladin, man. So hopefully this angle will make the zombie bounce and hit the paladin. Yes! Yes, it did! Okay. Okay, so... So... He can only do 485 damage per hit, no matter what, unless I touch his body. His body is doing 300 damage. But it's it's kind of rare to, to, to be doing... Um, body damage and I would be okay I have 2800 health he has 31 okay so I would need to try to double hit as much as I can and hopefully he doesn't you know hit me with his body I would need to double hit him okay I double hit him there okay so I should be in the lead now I just need to continuously double hit him why is he gonna Okay, so he's trying, he knows, he knows that he needs to hit me with the rockets, plus his body. Okay, so he just went, okay, so he just went for the rocket, okay. He just went for the rocket, let's see if we can double hit him. I do not want to miss the double hits, man. Plus we got the burn off, okay, so burn, plus poison, plus double hit, that was good. That was about 900 damage. This guy knows that he's in trouble. This guy knows that he's in trouble. And this guy's in a very good clan. U USA Knights. 
I see I see this guy play like beast, bro. I'm super happy that I'm actually able to take out one of these guys. Um, hopefully, we should be able to get a double hit here. We got a triple hit. Let's go. Okay, there's no way this guy's gonna win now. He has 500 health. I just need one more double hit and I'll win. This guy knows it. Oh, wow. I cannot believe I made that comeback, man. I cannot believe I made that comeback. I might miss the double hit here, to be honest with you. I might miss it. Nope, I got it. Wow, guys. I cannot believe we won that. Let's go. Good game. That was indeed a good game, dude. Good game. I cannot even say good game. Okay, good game. Wow, 40 trophies. And that was in the top... We faced someone in the, in the top 500. Let's go. I, I hit continue. Can I hit continue? Okay, thank you. Uh, 3620 above 20 trophies. Oh my gosh, this is incredibly tough. Uh, let me open this orb so I'll be right back after the ad finishes. And we are back. I am super stoked that we bought, that we won on that, against that guy. That deck is super strong. He played that super well and I, I just can't believe I made that comeback. 3620, we are literally only two trophies above from where we started the video. I'm trying to get to the top 500 globally for you guys. I am still trying my best. Let's see. Okay. Um, his cultist and the mice pen is what's worrying me a little bit. Of course, he pulls that off. And the zombie did take a lot of damage. But we might be able to actually take out the, uh, the cultist right here. If I double hit him towards the striker. We were actually able to double hit the uh, the cultist, and hopefully the tremor. The tr if the tremor would have went towards the cultist, that would have been nice. Oh, I didn't mean to touch that button. I do apologize. I'm trying to see how much health does the cultist have. Okay, so this okay, so this guy is dealing me is dealing a lot of damage. Let's actually hit the barbarian. Hopefully twice, and hopefully the barbarian po gets poisoned first, and then I get a double hit with the naga. Come on. Yes, there you go. Okay, so both of those troops are low health. Um, his archer goes next, okay. My striker goes next, so that's actually pretty good. I might be able to take out the... Uh... Ooh, let's see. Okay, so he just got lucky and hit the, uh, hit the zombie. He got super lucky there. So let's double hit the... Uh, I'm, I could poison, but I, want to, I actually want to double hit the mice bandit because the mice... You know how I feel about the mice bandits, bruh. So let's hit both of these, uh, hit him twice. I actually took out the mice bandit. I did not plan that. I did not plan that at all. Ladies and gentlemen, that was one of the biggest plays I ever done. The biggest play. Ooh, but that could have been a big play for him. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was a good play on his part. Killing off my zombie so the archer is not poisoned. So that's gonna be a little bit tough to handle for it, uh, handle it, but uh, nonetheless, we should be able to take out the barbarian as well. Yes, we took out the barbarian. As long as we can keep the striker alive, so we can deal some additional damage with the striker's ability and the golem's uh, tremor, we should be golden. We should be indeed golem. That was that was a lot of burn damage. That was well played on his part. A lot of burn damage. Uh, let's do, let's hit him like this. Hopefully I can either hit him double, double with the, uh, the striker or make him hit towards the, my golem. We did hit him towards the golem. Okay, so that was good. Wow, he actually might beat me here. Striker can only tank two hits. Golem can only tank two hits unless the arrows does something crazy. He actually might come back here. He did. Dude, no! Man, these players! These players are so good! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, dude! This is so tough! This is really, really tough! Getting the top 500 is not an easy feat, guys. This is super tough! Okay, it's strange to see a Yeti without the Banshee, but that's just my- that, that's just me. He, he instead is probably gonna use the Mice Bandit to deal some damage. Or use the Jedi's ability and just go crazy. He is gonna use the Jedi's ability. Hopefully he misses the ability. He's actually probably gonna hit the zombie and deal a good amount of damage. Yeah, the zombie did, did take a lot of damage there, sadly. Let's actually try to poison the Jedi and the Barbarian by hitting it towards the zombie. We should be able to do just fine. 
uh, by doing this. Yep, there you go. We did poison both of them. The Barbarian is being blocked, unless he wants to use a Mice Bandit for damage. Okay. Oh, wow, really? He got that lucky hit? Really? Really? Uh, let's actually hit it like this. Hopefully, we can bounce off the Golem and double hit the Barbarian. Bada bing, bada boom. Missed the double hit, but we actually poisoned the Mice Bandit. Not planned, so I'm super happy with that. Zombie goes next. Uh, if we can poison the, uh... Ooh, my gosh. Ouchie. He took out my striker. So let's poison... Let's poison the warrior, plus hitting him towards the, uh, the Naga. Let's actually make him bounce off the wall. And make the Naga go up. So he can hit the other uh, barbarian as well. No, we missed. We actually got a double hit on the warrior, so the warrior did die. Okay, so not bad. We just gotta keep the Naga alive. Keep the Naga alive. Does You can kill off my zombie if you want to. I don't need the zombie anymore. Hopefully he misses what he wants to do here. Hopefully he misses this double hit. He is trying to get that double hit. I honestly hope he misses. Nope. He is changing his plans. He is gonna kill off the zombie. He actually got a double... Okay. Okay, not too bad. Okay, we have to take out his Barbarian. His Barbarian is now doing a 911 damage. We have to double hit the Barbarian. Double hit the Barbarian, please. Bada bing, bada boom. Missed the double. Oh, the, the golem saved me. The golem saved me. We took out the Mice Bandit too. Okay. We're definitely going to win this one. Guys, we are literally jumping back and forth and winning and, lo and winning and losing, guys. I honestly don't know what to do here. I don't know if I should change decks, but I feel like this deck is is the one that's going to get me the wins. That gets That's going to get me to 500... Uh, the top 500 globally. Um, Okie doke. Wow, I've been recording for f almost 50 minutes now. So this is obviously going to be a long video for you guys. And I do I do know that you guys long videos. I don't mind. It's just I, I do struggle a little bit when it comes to um, uploading the video. But other than that, I love doing this for you guys. And yep, there you go. Let's take this out. Bada bing, bada boom. So another win. I'm pretty sure we are at 50-50 like ratio. Like we, I don't know how many times we played, but I'm pretty sure we won and lost the same amount. So let's see if we can open this orb. We can, so I'll be right back after the ad finishes. And we are back. 36-15. We are below three trophies. All, since when we started we are just struggling here guys we are indeed struggling super hard trying to get to top 500 or even just get above 3700 is super tough but i'm trying my best for you guys uh okay so he has a decent amount of okay so his deck is just solely base damage solely base damage so let's see if we can poison his assassin and maybe even the goblin Fingers crossed. Yes, we were actually able to poison both of them. Plus, the Tremor's gonna hit the Archer and the Bomber. Super happy about that play. He is gonna use the Assassin to attack my uh, Striker. Only hit him in once, though. Oh my gosh, my Striker almost died, though. So let's poison. Let's definitely poison the Bomber and the Archer. I wanted one of them to hit the Striker so bad, but I went for the poison. So, but that's fine because my Naga is healthy. My Naga can seriously do a serious amount of damage. You can kill that zombie. I don't care. Okay, so you also not well not kill him. Deal damage to the zombie. That's fine. That's fine. And you took on my striker. That's fine. I have my Naga ready. Bada bing, bada boom. That's gonna be a serious amount of damage. And a double hit. Oh my gosh, that would have been a double hit. That would have seriously taken him out. Okay, so the bomb is up there, so he's probably gonna just gonna push the Naga up there, right? He's probably just gonna push the Naga up there. And he okay, so he did fail to take to deal damage with the bomb towards my Naga. So let's actually try to kill off the assassin. We should. And hopefully the Naga will go up. And yes! It hit the archer. I wanted to hit the goblin too, but hey, we got the hit on the archer, that's fine. The golem is healthy. Uh, zombie is still alive. We can use him for damage, of course. Uh, 
interesting play. He did not go for the Naga. That was a bad play, dude. I am not gonna kill your goblin, burn your archer, even probably kill off your... Probably end the game right here. Yeah, that's game, isn't it? Yep. Okay, that was an easy win against an all, you know, high base damage. Like, hey, I used that for my Majestic Challenge video and we actually got 7 wins, so... I mean, it's not the exact same deck, but hey, it's still pretty good. Can we open this orb? We can, so I'll be right back after the ad. And we are back. We are 36... 39 we are what 21 trophies above so we are going at a good direction and if we actually win this one we'll get the three win streak for additional 10 trophies so hopefully we can get this win and this may be enough to get to uh get to the top 500 so fingers crossed that we can get to top 500 in this very match sorceress not happy with that my zombie does go first though so we can try to Start poisoning people as quick as we can. Uh, that's not the angle that I want. So I'm just gonna hit the assassin like this. And we should be able to poison the sorceress. Yes, we got the poison off as well. And it's a warrior's turn. Oh, look at that tremor too. That tremor was aligned super well to hit both of those guys. Um, oh, actually, he's gonna use the assassin to... Ooh, hit the zombie twice. Excuse me? So, let's actually try to double hit the assassin, and the war and we should be able to hit the warrior or the sorceress. I do hope that we can hit the sorceress, but we have to make sure to double hit the assassin. We only hit him once? Oh, not good, not good at all, not good at all. Might spend this turn, he cannot punish me with the assassin. Instead, he is going to punish me with just the mice spender. The mice spender is just, it's just insane, dude, just insane. Uh, I guess we can just do this. Double hit the Mice Bandit, and the Golem should go straight forward. Did not go straight forward, did get blocked by the Warrior, but the Tremor did, did, did do really good job by going through three troops. Any damage is good damage. He is gonna kill off my Naga here. He missed the Naga, never mind. He missed the Naga, that was big, nope. That was big, nobody's poisoned yet, guys. Nobody's poisoned. Um, we have to go for, for a sorceress so that he doesn't enchant my troops. I have to do that. Plus, we dealt damage to the warrior. Let's go. Let's go. Now we just gotta worry about his assassin. Even though the assassin is taking damage left and right because of the poison, he actually might take out the zombie and the naga here. Let's see what he does. He's just gonna go for the naga. Okay, that's fine. That is actually fine. I What I don't know is, should I go for the assassin? Or poison both the warrior and the mice bandit. Or just poison the mice bandit and hopefully take out the um the assassin. We have to take out the assassin. We have to. Yep, there you go. We took out the uh, the assassin. Plus poison the mice bandit. Okay. Okie dokie. We might win this one, guys. I'm super stoked. I'm super stoked. He somehow double hit my striker. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's... I call... I call lies. I call lies. I was gonna say a bad word. I do not want to say a bad word in front of you guys. Uh, so let's hit the warrior towards the golem. Or should we... We might be able to poison her. Let's try to poison the warrior. We missed the poison! Oh, no! We missed the poison. It wasn't going to be enough to take out the warrior if we, if we would have headed towards the um, the golem. So I was trying to go for the poison and we missed. This is super close, guys. This is super close. So we get, we have to hit the warrior. And hope, and we should be able to hit the other uh, mice. And hopefully the warrior gets burned. Oh, uh, not burned. Poisoned. Oh gosh, this is going to be super close. Is that GG? Oh my gosh, how much health does it- Oh no! They're all one hit! They're all one hit! Please miss. Please miss. Guys, how much health does- He has 67 health. If- That's why I wanted to try to poison the warrior too. Oh my gosh, dude! You know- You don't know how, how hurt I am. 
And of course, we are back to 3610. We are eight trophies below from where we started. We are struggling, dude. Struggling. Okay, so this is a dangerous deck. The Ice Queen is actually low key tough. It is low key tough, dude. Um, we have to. Can we try to? We could try to poison the Frost Fox. Poison the Frost Fox? My hair is a little bit messy. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. The Tremor did hit the, the, the Nagandi uh, Sorceress, so pretty good right there. Um, he cannot enchant any troops right now, unless he pushes the Sorceress by force. Okay, um, so let's now poison the Ice Queen. And hopefully we should be able to hit it towards the Striker and poison the uh, Sorceress as well. There you go, we actually were able to do so. So three troops are poisoned, which is good. Now we just gotta worry about the sorceress not enchanting my troops. Uh, it does not seem like that's gonna happen. It's gonna, it is definitely gonna enchant my troops. At least the Naga. The not the source the sorceress is not in range of the Naga, really? So let's see if we can kill her off. We have to kill off the sorceress so that we don't get the other uh, damage. Or the, the enchantment. Fingers crossed. That should be that should be death for the sorceress, right? Yep, okay. Now we just gotta poison the Naga and we should be good. The Naga cannot use her ability. Because none of my troops are enchanted. Oh do not kill off the Naga! Oh my gosh! Almost killing off the Naga, dude. So I guess we we'll just deal brute damage to the Naga, hitting it towards the my Naga, and hopefully we can get a hit off towards the Frost Fox. Yes, we were actually able to do so, plus the Tremor will go towards the Frost Fox, dealing a good amount of damage. The Frost Fox cannot use his ability unless he hits his own troops, so what is he gonna do? He is just gonna go for the Golem and the Naga. Okay, go for it, dude. Uh, do not hit that zombie, though. Okay, do not hit the zombie. Whew, that was super close. Um, how much health does the, the, the Frost Fox have? Let me check real quick. 215. So I get we'll just we'll just deal damage to these two, obviously. Um We should also take out the Ice Queen. Yeah, we definitely took out the Ice Queen right there. So no more ability of the Ice Queen. None of these two cannot use this ability unless he touches his own Frost Fox with his own um ability. All he's doing is brute damage, that's it. Taking out the uh Okay, taking out the, the striker. I respect that, I respect that. The Frost Fox will die, no matter what we do. So we're just gonna go for the Naga. Go for the Naga. The Tremor should go f hit... Okay, it did hit the Naga, okay. So I'm happy that I hit the Naga. <sighs> so this is a win. Sorry, my hair my hair is messy. I do apologize for that. I don't know why my hair is super messy. Uh, So he just took out the zombie. He actually hit the Golem. That was well played, but... uh. This is already a loss for him. We, I've been recording for an hour. Oh my gosh, this is a very long video. Oh my goodness. Um. Okay, so there you go. Tremor. Okay, GG. We're probably only going to win 50 trophies right here, though. Right? 15? Oh, 23 trophies. That's actually a decent amount. So, 33... Sorry, 36, 33. Can I open one more orb slot? No. So... This is what we're going to do. We're going to play one more. No matter what happens, win or lose, no matter what happens, we'll stop the video right there. Hopefully with this win, it'll take us to the top 500. Fingers crossed. I cannot believe it. it's taking me an hour to try to get to the top 500. And I might even fail this one. So the Sorceress goes first, and he is definitely going to enchant three of my troops. So a horrible start right here. Let's try to take out the Sorceress immediately, poison her. We did not even poison the sorceress. I tried to by making it bounce from the golem to the zombie and I failed. So this is not good. Not good. I had a horrible start. Horrible start. Um. Well, if he enchants the naga, I'm toast. And he did. It, is that in range? That is not in range. But that was... It might as it might as well be because my 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 uh my troops are gonna die. My troops are indeed gonna die. So we just do this. 
and I failed at the. Oh, I actually did did do the double hit, but I wanted to hit towards the striker, and I failed. Uh, that wizard is definitely gonna kill the striker and deal a lot of damage to the golem. So much damage. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And he just enchanted the Naga. So, all my troops are enchanted. So, this is a loss, ladies and gentlemen. We can probably try to hit the zombie towards the, the zombie. The wizard towards the Naga. And make the Naga hit the sorceress. I failed. I did hit the wizard, but I failed to hit towards the, the sorceress. It doesn't matter if the sorceress dies. He just enchanted my troops, so I should probably be going for other troops. Instead, Golem's dead. Ooh. 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 Wait a second here. We can do a lot of damage here. Actually, I thought I thought it was a zombie's turn. If it was a zombie's turn, I would have done a serious amount of damage. Um, how did I not hit... The Jaguar with the Naga while the Jaguar is enchanted. How? I thought it should have been it should have been a double bounce. Okay, so the zombie is dead. Oof, 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 ladies and gentlemen, this is not looking good. So we just take out the sorceress, or should we just should we'll, oh wait, excuse me, I do not want to mess up my shots. We'll just double hit the jaguar. We should be able to take him out. Bada bing bada boom! We failed the double hit, but the burn got pretty good amount of damage, and now he's just gonna hit it towards the Jaguar and win. Oh my gosh, dude! Or hit it towards the wizard, okay. It's still death, okay. Wow, that was tough, guys. That was super tough. This, this run, this entire video has been a mess. By winning and losing, winning and losing, winning and losing, winning and losing. Oh, let me... Let me continue. So yeah, this entire video has been about me winning and losing, trying to get to the top 500 globally. I failed. And instead, this entire video, I lost 11 trophies. So that was just... That was too much. Long video, but I hope you guys did enjoy me tr attempting. Attempting to reach the 500, uh, 500 globally. Worldwide, you know. I did try, but I will push. I will push for um, maybe Saturday. I'm gonna try again Saturday on video for you guys at least. Uh, but I'll probably be playing offline, so I may be able to get to the top 500 before I record the video. But uh, that's it for today's video, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to hit uh, the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. Like I said, this was just crazy. Um, top 500 is tough. We face people in the top 500. They are super tough. They are not kidding around. <sighs> I did try. If you guys have any uh, recommendations for ladder decks, let me know down in the comments below. Most of my comments are max decked, but some of them are actually at max level. But uh, let me know down in the comments below if you want to see different decks so I can try in the, in the ladder video. It may work, it may not. Who knows? Also, let me know down in the comments below what uh, challenge decks you guys want me to do. I already have one planned for Friday. Uh, um, this guy knows. Uh, this guy knows who I'm talking about. Um, this guy's. Rec uh, this guy recommended me the blacksmith uh, knight shaman naga deck. So uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm definitely gonna do that for uh, for Friday's video. Sorry, I'm 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 actually tr having trouble speaking for some reason, but uh, I always do, right? <laughs> All right, guys, it's been a lot of fun, a lot of struggle. But we did pretty good in my opinion for an hour long video or however long this is going to be after I edit this. But let, I'm going to stop talking. I'm, I'm speaking too much. I do apologize, guys. Thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.